Hey everyone, Dr. Diana Gurnita here and today we are going to talk about something that a lot of you have asked me. Is CBD oil good for arthritis, especially rheumatoid arthritis? If you are dealing with rheumatoid arthritis or any kind of arthritis, stick around because today I'm going to answer a lot of questions like what is CBD oil and how does it work? Can CBD oil help with pain, inflammation and sleep? What does the National Arthritis Foundation say about the use of CBD? What is the dose that you should use and what should you consider before buying CBD oil? Let's dive in and cover all the scientific data available today about the use of CBD. Rheumatologistoncall.com What is CBD oil and how does it work? Before we dive into the specifics of CBD, let's lay the groundwork with cannabis. This flowering plant harbors over 500 chemical entities including cannabinoid like THC, which is the main psychoactive chemical in marijuana, and cannabidiol, which is the CBD. CBD, which is derived from the cannabis sativa plant, stands apart from THC, which is the main chemical in marijuana, because it does not induce psychoactive effects. CBD interacts with cannabinoid receptors in our body, especially CB1 receptors on nerves and joints and CB2 receptors on immune system cells. These receptors play an important role in pain perception, in immune function, in sleep and appetite. When CBD binds to these receptors, it can alter how you perceive pain and can potentially reduce inflammation, impact your sleep and appetite. CBD, unlike THC or marijuana, is not causing, as I said, any psychoactive effects, meaning that it will not cause you to have a high feeling on euphoric feeling. Can CBD oil help with pain, inflammation and sleep? If we look at the extensive research done by Dr. McDougall's Arthritis and Pain Lab in Canada, those studies on animal arthritis models have shown promising outcomes. CBD demonstrated benefits such as pain reduction, nerve damage repair, and diminished inflammation in the joints. Now, while these studies, these results are so compelling, the transition to human studies has been shown improvement in sleep and pain scores for patients with osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis with minimal side effects. Additionally, some studies have suggested a decrease in the need of pain medications like opioids or anti-inflammatory medications like NSAIDs. What does the National Arthritis Foundation say about the use of CBD? Recently, the National Arthritis Foundation conducted a survey which involved over 2,600 arthritis patients. Very interesting, 79% of patients that responded to the survey, including those with long-term osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis for more than 10 years, they have used or they are using or they are considered to use CBD products. And among those that use CBD products, 94% use it for pain relief. 67% reported an improvement in their physical function. And over 30% reported that it helped with morning stiffness. 30% reported that it helped with their fatigue. And 71% of the patients reported that CBD help them improve their sleep. But not only that, 67% reported that they had an improvement in their depressed mood. The same survey showed that patients, or a lot of these patients, they already talked to their physician about using CBD oil. 
Now, another study run in 2022, which included 400 patients suffering from different forms of arthritis, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and other types of autoimmune arthritis, showed similar results. The use of CBD was associated with improvement in the pain scores that the patients report, the physical function, and the sleep quality. The reduction in pain scores was greatest in people with osteoarthritis when compared to rheumatoid arthritis, but interestingly, the use of CBD also reduced the need of using NSAIDs, Tylenol, and opioids, and sometimes it led to discontinuation of these drugs. Once again, I want to emphasize that these are surveys where people report how they feel after they use CBD oil, but they do show improvement in the morning stiffness, fatigue, sleep quality, and pain. Did you use CBD products? Did you use CBD oil, drops, or did you use CBD cream? And if you did, please leave your comments in the bottom of this video and let us all know how did it help or did it help you? Did it help you with your pain, with the sleep, or did it help with your fatigue? Please share your experience with other people with arthritis. Now, going back to these findings that I reported, I agree, they are insightful, but it is crucial to note that they are based on surveys, not on rigorous clinical studies. That is why the National Arthritis Foundation released a statement regarding the CBD use that says that CBD may help with arthritis symptoms such as pain, insomnia, and anxiety, but there have been no rigorous clinical studies, as I said, on people with arthritis to confirm all of that. While there is no significant safety issues that have been found with CBD use, you should take this in moderate doses. And you should discuss the interactions with other drugs that you might take at this point. CBD should never be used to replace disease-modifying drugs that help prevent permanent damage from your joints because of inflammatory arthritis. Now, CBD use should be discussed with your doctor in advance, and you should have follow-up evaluations. You know, if you have them every three months, fine, or it should be done sooner if you have any symptoms. And there are no established clinical guidelines to inform about how to use it. What is the dose of CBD oil that you should use? When it comes to the dose that you need to use, you have to know there are no universal dose recommendations. Before you consider starting CBD oil, you should talk to your doctor, as I said. I suggest starting with a very small dose and seeing how your body reacts. Then increase your dose very slowly and always stick with the recommendations of the dose listed on that chosen product. What to pay attention when you buy CBD oil? When it comes to purchasing CBD oil or other products, you have to have a caution approach. And here are some key tips to help you select a CBD product. Closely read the product labels to identify the manufacturer and whoever distributes the product. Verify the product identity and how much of the CBD contains. Check the quantity, the batch numbers, and expiration date, and follow instructions for use, dosing, and how to store appropriately. If you decide to start taking CBD oil, you should talk to your doctor. You should consult your rheumatologist, because despite its relative safety, CBD can interact with certain medications, including antihypertensive medication, warfarins, antidepressants, medication that are for anxiety or anti-epileptics. CBD oil is not going to replace your rheumatoid arthritis medication, and it will not replace DMARDs, biologics, or other medications that you take, but it can potentially minimize the need for certain medication, especially NSAIDs, 
and it might help for your pain, for your sleep and fatigue. Once again, a caution approach is best when you start a product like CBD. If you find this information helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Leave me your comments in the bottom of this video. Thank you for joining me today and until the next time, take care of yourselves. Rheumatologistoncall.com